OK, so I'm going to do uh, what I said I'd do on one of the forms this morning for Acadia and to show a bit of texturing on an existing uh, model imposer. Uh, so I've exported the model, uh, it's just the reads address from Lululee, which is very lovely. And I'm going to per pixel painting folder, I'm going to pick that address there. Now you can use the original geometry if you want to, it's up to you, it's just a matter of preference. Uh, I do it like this with welded seams so that uh, I don't see the little gaps. So no subdivision, keep UV, no smoothing, pick a texture. I'm going to leave it at 1024 for the moment. I'm just going to drop the body down, uh, body handle down to 64 uh, so it doesn't take up any space in the memory. Not much space. Click OK and that should come out and import the model for us. Okay, it's got a little bit of artifacting here, that's not a problem because it's on layer 0. Layer 0 is our uh, geometry layer, layer 1 is our first painting layer. Uh, so I'm giving myself about 10 minutes to do this, um, and we'll see how we get on. So first of all I want to hide the body handles, so hide, hide the material, body handles is top. Okay, job done. Right, so I'm uh, not going to do too much on this. Uh, I'm not going to show you too much because there's a lot to show. First thing I'm going to do is uh, give it a base colour. So on layer 1, use the bucket. Um, I think you should take that off as a precaution. Uh, layer, yes. And this will fill the whole layer uh, with absolutely nothing whatsoever because I've got some stupid selected. Uh, layer, yes. Uh, so I had a, an odd brush there, so uh, that's put my whole layer in. So there we go. Right. So what I want to do now is apply a texture over the top of that. Um, but because I know uh, the joys of uh, texturing with this thing, I'm going to try a plaid texture in one of my other directories uh, custom I think it was yep. um, if I fill this over the top of um, this uh, model it's going to get some stretching somewhere that's just kind of the way of it um, with other textures it's perhaps not so important but with uh, quite a geometrical texture like this uh, it's going to look awful otherwise uh, so I'll just get that material preview out click on there and then we see the effect now I want to scale this because I don't want it that big there we go uh, somewhere around there is probably not far off now if I fill this here from camera the left and the right are going to be very very stretched so I'm going to cheat a bit go to my right directory before I start uh, right directory, right view uh, turn off the texture and use my freeze tool now if I just paint down here you see it goes to like the checker pattern that means that when I fill it it won't fill that bit uh, so I'm just going to undo that for a moment not that far there redo oops ok so I'm going to start on the new layer anyway uh, so new layer because I don't want to mess about too much I'm going to put my symmetry on the x-axis and then use my freeze tool to freeze out some of this down here I'll try and make it as neat as I can but not uh, too fussy. So when we use our fill tool on this, we'll ignore that bit and hopefully keep it from stretching too much. And if we go to the top as well, so it will definitely stretch across the top. I'll put a uh, kind of band in there to preserve that. I'm not too fussed about the trim for the minute because I'll do something like that a bit later. 
OK, so back to my front panel again. Get my texture on. Uh, get my fill tool. And I'm going to fill that layer. OK. I'm going to turn my texture off. Have a look around my water. And see that I've managed to hide something that I didn't want to, so... No, no, I've got the wrong tool selected. <laughs> Undo. Got freeze tool. No, that's not working. So I'm just going to undo that till I've got it back again. And then paint it again. No, edit. Redo. Sorry about this, it's just my lummoxness that's uh, caused this problem. So freeze, let's turn that all that freeze off, unfreeze all. I'm just going to go in there and just do that quickly again. Uh, right. I think I went a bit too close to that edge there, uh, which will cause that problem. So I'll try and be a bit more careful this time. Okay. Yeah, it just takes a bit of practice. Uh, you know, as you start doing these things, it will become second nature. Different top. Into also mode. There we go. Just draw a little bit around her collar. Go back to the front, and I'll just have a quick scan around to make sure it's. Uh, oh no, got a bloody great hole in the back. Damn it. Okay, I'm going to leave that. You get the idea, I'm sure. Uh, so it's not. Uh, there we go. So onto my layer. Get the front camera view. So it's from camera. Uh, get my fill tool. Fill the layer. Yes. I should fill it in for us. So. Layer, uh, not layer. Turn that off. Spin that round, and there we are. It's got a bit of a hole in the back, but <laughs> hey, that's fashion. Okay, so the trim um, I'm going to do in a moment, uh, but I'm just going to go freeze, uh, invert. Now, if I wanted to make that pink a different colour, I could do. Um, in this case I think I'll probably do uh, I want to make it black makes a mockery of putting it down in the first place but there you go so fill layer yes and I can do an, uh, freeze unfreeze it all and we have a bit of a dress going on ok it's not perfect so we've got a bloody great hole in the back um, but there we go, and the trim is looking a bit weird. Uh, so I just want to fill that trim in all black. Um, so I'm going to do a material fill for the trim. So OK, and that's all black. That's a bit neater. Uh, now, obviously, <laughs> that hole in the back isn't great. Um, but hey. Perhaps I'll do something to make it look like I would meant to do it in the first place. Yeah, why not? Why not? So I'm going to take symmetry off. And I'm going to pick my spline tool. Make my brush a bit smaller. Um, size of the brush you can use with the mouse. Or you can right click on the model and go left and right. So what I'm going to do here is kind of draw around this edge. I'm going to kind of end up on a sort of inverted heart, I suppose. Oops. Move those points around. I'm going to hit close curve. And equalize, which will equidist 